And honestly, with masks and the debate over that, the stress over everything, some families, they're just leaving the classroom altogether. 10 Bay reporter Liz Crawford looked into the Florida homeschooling numbers and found out that it's gotten much more popular over the last few years. Julie Seamus started homeschooling her daughters with the help of a hired teacher just before the pandemic. Then when schools shut down, she started a Facebook group to help other families and educators connect. All of a sudden they were saying there's got to be a better option. Than this. So so first and foremost was how do you want your child to learn? One year later, that Facebook group turned into a business. Seamus launched Anything Academic, an online website with more than 30,000 alternative learning options. Parents start with all this um, and don't know where to start. I mean, you can spend forever on the internet trying to figure this out. You can search and search and search, and, and we've been through that process. Tampa Bay school districts don't have their enrollment numbers just yet, but Florida Virtual School is seeing skyrocketing enrollment. Florida Virtual School is a statewide online school program. They're expecting more than 9,000 kids this year. Before the pandemic, they had 5,800 students. I think parents are beginning to discover that there's more to education than eight to three schooling. The U.S. Census found that homeschooling is also on the rise. Before the pandemic, about 5% of households in Florida were homeschooling. At the start of the 2020 school year, that number grew to 18%. Now, districts in Tampa Bay also offer virtual schooling. That's different, though, than last year's e-learning option. Virtual school is student-led with limited live instruction.